Hi guys, this is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to talk about my empties for like the past mm, maybe about two weeks. So um, I have a bunch of wax empties and then I also got a lot of candles because like I said, as I've told y'all in my previous videos, I am getting rid of these candles. They have to go. If you hear any movement or anything in the background, my daughter is also hanging out with me. So if you hear any rustling or um, she's also watching her tablet, you might hear a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, so I thought we would sit down and talk about what I've used up because it's a lot because I'm ready to throw away these candle jars. So I'm going to start with the candles first and I'm going to start with this one first because I want to make sure I don't throw it away. So this candle is the Island Papaya candle that I used uh, from Bath and Body Works. The scent notes are tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. And this one was nice. Again, the scent throw was nothing amazing, which has been the case for most of the candles um, that I've gotten from Bath and Body Works, which is why I've made the decision to stop purchasing them. But the reason I didn't want to throw this one away, you all can see here, I turned it into a cotton ball holder. And so that is something that, um, to me, it's a great way to use. Sorry, me and my eyelashes lately, they've been driving me nuts. Anyway, this is a great way to reuse your candle jars for those of you who are still candle lovers or who have some, or maybe it's just a jar that was really pretty and you didn't want to throw it away. I turned mine into um, cotton ball holders. That way they're kind of like near my, um, my wax warmers and I can hold cotton balls in it. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you all this one first so I can put it to the side. By the way, any scent that I say I really enjoyed and I would repurchase, I mean I would repurchase it in the wax form. I am pretty much done with candles with the exception of um, a couple. For example, Bath & Body Works Peppermint Sugar Cookie Candle. If I can find a vendor who makes that scent, I will be great. So candle that I used up is the blueberry marshmallow bar candle. Um, and the scent notes are sugar blueberries, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. And this one was nice. I actually have a second one. Again, not a very strong candle. <coughs> Excuse me. I would say this is probably about a uh, medium throw, which I guess isn't bad. And it's nice, but honestly, I don't even know if I would want this like in vendor wax. It's, the scent is cool, but it's something that like after a couple of hours, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> so I don't think this is a scent that I need another of. Um, the next candle that I use up is the Homeworks Berry Snow Cone Candle. And I got this because so many people raved and said this smells just like a snow cone. And the scent notes are red berries, bubbly citrus, juicy red apple, and shaved sugar ice. To me, this does not smell like a snow cone. To me, this smells like a, a blueberry or like a blue raspberry pixie stick. <laughs> so this scent was okay. Didn't love it. Honestly, don't want it um, in a candle form again or like in a wax form. It was nice, but well, I can't even say it was nice. It was okay. Didn't love it. Liked it kind of, but no. The next one that I want to show you because... I'm still enjoying this one. This is the Kiwi Passion Fruit Candle from Bath & Body Works. Sitting notes of tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. And this one is actually really nice. I like this scent. If, um, if and when, I'm not gonna say if, but whenever I find something similar to this in vendor wax form, I would definitely uh, repurchase it. I'm big on pineapple. I really enjoy pineapple scents and I enjoy kiwi scents and the two mixed together. Mm, very good. So I'm going to put this over here so I'll remember not to throw it away. Um, so we talked about those two. Okay, so we got three left. <laughs> so this next candle is Goose Creek's Homemade Cherry Pie. And the scent notes are warm cherry pie crust and sugar. 
I do not like this candle. <laughs> and matter of fact, um, for those of you all who watch Candace, I will make sure to put her channel down below. She also does uh, wax and candle videos. She mentioned using of this candle in her latest um, candle and wax empties video. And she talked about how much she did not like this candle and how it did not smell like cherry pie. And I 150% <laughs> agree with her. This, I don't know what it smells like. I almost get like this. I guess it's that, um, maybe like that medicinal cherry note. And I guess you could say I'm a little bit more picky with my cherry scents. But also, I didn't get a pie crust note. I am tired of people, especially like Sensationals is bad for this. And sometimes so are like these candle companies. Quit telling me there's a pie crust note and this smells like nothing but fruit. <laughs> like this just smells like a medicinal cherry compote with nothing else. Don't ever, would never <laughs> buy this again. And I don't want this in vendor wax if this is what it smells like. So this is a big no for me. All right, next is strawberry daiquiri. And this is from Bath and Body Works. And this is frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, and a shot of tropical rum. Um, and also a zesty citrus twist. I don't really think this necessarily smells like a daiquiri of any sort. And I think that's because the rum note is very, very light. So it's very much in the background. Also, this candle was so light. I mean, I, I warmed this in my bedroom, like with the door closed and you could barely smell it. So if I found this in a vendor wax form with like the alcohol note being a little bit stronger, I would buy it again. Do I want this again in a candle from Bath and Body Works? No. Um, oh, and then look, I got one more candle in here I was about to forget about. So the next candle we have is Among the Clouds. And isn't this one pretty? I'm debating about turning this one into a um, cotton ball holder and kicking the other one to the curb. But anyway, the scent notes for this are wild berry skies and, and whipped vanilla clouds. And this was nice. Um, I enjoyed it. Again, it wasn't the strongest, which has been my experience with most of, most of Bath and Body Works candles, but I enjoyed it. If I could find something similar in vendor wax, I think it would be something that I would enjoy like in the spring and summer, like in the um, warmer months when I don't, I guess, want like such a heavy gourmand, but who am I kidding? I always want a heavy gourmand, but <laughs> I also like fruity scents. So I would buy this in a vendor wax form. Also as a sidebar, before we talk about my last candle, y'all, I just got my locks retwisted uh, yesterday. And are they cute? Don't they look good? Uh, for those of you who have locks, there's nothing, nothing like a fresh retwist. Anyway, <laughs> back to the candles. Uh, so the last, yeah, this is the last candle that I've warmed and this is Gingham Gorgeous. And the scent notes for this are pink strawberries, peach nectar, and uh, peony blooms. And this was really nice. Like the scent, I should say, is really nice. The um, throw of this candle, again, mm, light to maybe medium. I find with a lot of Bath and Body Works candles, like when I first start warming them, like the scent is super strong. And then like as you warm it more and more, like that throw goes down and down and down. So this started out as a medium, ended up as a light. I really like this scent and if I could find this in vendor wax, I would definitely get this. This is a beautiful spring scent. Absolutely beautiful. I have it in body care too, so I really enjoy this scent. And I think those are all of the candles. So like over the last, what, like two weeks, I've used a one, two, three, four, five, six candles, almost seven. Go me. So now we'll talk about um, what I have in wax melts. Um, I did not go through as many wax melts probably because I've been so focused on using up these candles because I got a lot of wax coming and these candles are taking up space <laughs> in my wax storage area and so they got to go. Like you see how big and ha mm -mm, they have to go. So that's why I've been so focused on those but I will also talk about um, what I have warmed. Some of these I have not finished. So um, the first one is Mango Matcha from Scentsy. And y'all will be proud of me. I actually took the time to write the scent notes on the inside. So now I'll be able to tell you what the actual scent notes are instead of guessing. So this is mango, nectar, and matcha sorbet topped with a slice of salted cucumber and pure sugar cane. 
And I've only warmed one cube of this, as you can see. I warmed it in my bedroom, and it's an okay scent. It's nice. I'm not going to say it's okay. It's a nice scent. I think for me, I am just not, um, I'm very, I'm particular, like, when it comes to citrus, orange flavor scents. So, mango, um, orange, tangerine, anything in that family, um... I'm just, it's just not gonna be like a guaranteed love for me. Like it has to be really special and really different. And so this, to me, almost kind of smelled like um, an adult version of, I don't know if you remember like those Flintstone push pops <laughs> um, that we used to like enjoy as kids, like the, the frozen ones. It kind of reminds me of the orange flavored one, but like an elevated adult version because there's definitely like um, the, the salted cucumber, like it, you know, it gives it a little bit of an elevation. So it's a nice scent and I think if you are like a citrus orange lover mango lover you might really enjoy this it's nice to me this is a one and done don't need to get like another bar of it next scent that um throw it back in the basket because I'm still using that it that I have used I know I only had two cubes left y'all and I only used one <laughs> out of the two but this is raspberry hibiscus tea that's what it looks like and the scent notes are wild raspberry hibiscus petals um, that have been sweetened with, I think it was like a tablespoon of elderberry sugar. Mm. And I love this scent. This is in my club. <laughs> I love this scent. Um, would repurchase, will be repurchasing because my club will be, sh my bi, no, my quarterly club. Sorry, I don't have a bi, bi monthly club, but my quarterly club will be shipping soon. And this is definitely in it. I really enjoyed this scent. So the last one out of my wax melt set is not an empty, but just something that I have warmed over the past couple of weeks is Churro Churro. And this uh, came out during the Bring Back My Bar and I threw it in my club, hadn't warmed it. And I remember the last video, I think where I was my August uh, melting or warming basket, I talked about this scent and how I wasn't that impressed with it and I was probably going to take it out of my club, but I wanted to warm it first. Let me tell y'all something. It is always wise to warm something first, even if you don't necessarily love it on cold, because I fell in love with this scent. I really, really enjoy it. So the scent notes are baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. And I definitely get like that warm, doughy, just almost kind of like, like cookie dough type scent with like that cinnamon on top. It's really nice warmed. And honestly, I also think that this would probably be a good mixer for like other scents that you wanna, you know, like add a little bit more sweetness to or something. So like maybe if you had like apple scent, I'm actually excited um, and I'm so glad that I warmed this before just taking it out of my club because I was this close to taking it out of my club and I'm so glad I kept it. So that's the only other one that I have used that is, that's not empty yet. So then we got a couple more to talk about. Um, first up is Farmhouse Cookies. This is a sensational wax melt. I'm actually warming the rest of that right now um, in my open concept area. And the scent notes are apple spiced with fresh cinnamon and sweet cloves with a vanilla infused cookie. So here's my issue with this and with honestly a lot of the scents from Sensational that are supposed to have a cookie note in them. Cookie note, pie note, they've done this with their apple pie. They don't. It smells like apples and cinnamon um, and sweet clove. And the apple is almost kind of artificial and a little bit like sickeningly sweet. So I would not repurchase this. And the other thing while we're at it about Sensational's wax, um, and maybe that's just because I've started kind of exploring and enjoying wax from both vendors and Scentsy, their wax is hard. And when I say hard, I mean like the warmers, I'm not going to say they struggle to warm it, but you can just tell there's a difference. Like with... Um, both vendor wax that I have tried and Scentsy, my warmers milled that just fine. This stuff, it it it's it's definitely like a harder, tougher wax. And I mean, I get it. You know, these cost a little bit less. But the point is, this scent was artificial to me, to my nose, so I would not repurchase it. But it is loved by a lot of people. So if you like those notes, at least go sniff it in Walmart and give it a try. And who knows, you may fall in love with it. But this one is not a repurchase. For me. And I might as well knock out the last sensational scent. This is Perfect Day. And the scent notes for this are dew-covered 
um, orchard fruits, sunlit orchids, and sparkling ozones. And this is definitely like a um, fresh, clean, fruity, florally type of scent. It is nice. To me, this is more of a spring scent than a warm in August when it's 115 degrees scent. But to me, it smells like a really nice, pretty spring day. I actually warm this along with my um, Gingham Gorgeous candle once it started to kind of dud out on me. And it's nice. If I could find something similar in Vendor Wax or if Scentsy made a scent that was similar to this, I would repurchase it. I don't think I would repurchase it from Sensationals. Um, so yeah, there's that. Last two guys. Uh, the first one is Skinny Dippin'. I think a lot of people who are familiar with Scentsy are probably familiar with this one because they tend to bring it back, at least I've heard, that they tend to bring it back every year. The scent notes are fresh green apples with melon and juicy pear. And y'all, this scent is delicious to me and my nose. First off, it's strong. It's a powerhouse. Like when I put this in my open concept, I mean, it just, and this is when I was using the warmers that weren't that good. <laughs> so I can only imagine like now that I have um, used it or will use it like, like the actual bar, full bar of my open concept because I warm my last two cubes in my bedroom. But once I use it with my like hot plate warmers and my candle warmers, etc. warmers, oh, this is amazing. And I wouldn't think that these three notes would smell like this. Oops, sorry, because to me it kind of has like a tropical feel and smell to it. And I'm not always a lover of pear scents, but I really like this one. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but it's in my club. So definite yes on a repurchase. At some point, I'll probably also get a brick of this, but... Since I won't be warming anything like this anytime soon, I'm not necessarily interested in a brick of it right now. And the last scent is Tahitian Twilight from Scentsy. And the scent notes for this are gentle, it's a gentle wave of coastal waters that brings together passion flower, pineapple, and white woods. Mmm. And what did I tell y'all about me and these pineapple scents? I love this scent. I had this in my warmers in my open concept and it went strong for like a solid two and a half days which for me is amazing because normally i change up my wax every day <laughs> so love this it's also in my club so yeah that's everything i hope that you all enjoyed my what have i been warming video and everything that i've gone through over the last what about two weeks or so and um if you did you know please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment down below telling me letting me know what you have been warming um over the past couple of weeks like have you been enjoying some vendor wax any scentsy maybe you've even been enjoying some candles so um yeah but i will see you all in the next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys